Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we are finishing up this war this episode. I'm reasonably confident in that. Whether we get everything that we want or not, that's another question. We're at 92% war exhaustion, and it's going to be close. So, we need 3,231 more reasons to achieve war goals. We are getting very close, though. We have successfully invaded over here, and we should probably land right here. Let's check. This has zero armies. Okay. That'll be fine. So, next, we're probably going to want to jump drive over to here, or head up this way. Probably head up this way. Uh, oh, month tick. Right. <laughs> Come along, month tick. Let's go. One of these days. Okay, there we go. So we're going to head up to Kizo, and up here, this is, of course, held by us. So we're actually going to jump drive up to Seoul, and we are going to land on Fektor. Excellent. So that is this one handled. Next, we need to group these together a little bit. And we're not fully occupied over here yet. We need to attack at New Light. Month Tick was not being super cooperative. Ah, that's bugged again. Okay, that's fine. We have fully occupied over here, so we can just come to this region and land on Strobus. Fantastic. And finally, I believe we already handled this one. Did we not? Yes, we did. Okay, so we do need to get ourselves some techs going here, and we're going to go for something like that. Excellent. Now, did I miss an army? I feel like I did. Where would that army be? Uh, we've got three going on right now, so okay, we're good. We have fully occupied here, so we need to jump drive our way over to here and land there. Scientific Revolution just expired, and we should definitely re-up that one. There we go. And we have successfully invaded over here. Forever Spring is next. Should be fine. We'll grab ourselves Army Health. We successfully invaded on Fektor. Next up, Necht Octur. Excellent. And Strobus, we're having that bug again. Excellent. So we now fully occupy here, which means I think that we can go somewhere else. But where? Where else do we need to invade in this region? I guess up over this way. Can we jump drive that far? We absolutely can. That is so broken. Okay. And month tick. Come on, month tick. You can do it. Okay, so we fully occupy at Seoul, so that means that we need to jump drive over to here. And we will start landing here. Excellent. We lost a general. We'll deal with that in a little bit. Grab energy credits, I guess. These guys need to be given orders to attack over at Shumi. We're at 93% war exhaustion right now. So far, so good. We're at 2780 reasons. So this is going quite quickly at this point, which is great to see. 
These guys apparently don't have orders. Okay, they do. <laughs> Never mind. So we have four simultaneous invasions happening, currently. And we got that tech. We'll grab army health next. Excellent. For right now, let's get all of these grouped together. These guys need a new general. So we'll go for this guy. Excellent. We now fully occupy here. So this is in Synthoid Link space, so we'll come down over this way and land on Fector. Excellent. And I just clicked on the wrong one, so I have to look around and find that army. Here it is. We need another general over here, and we'll recruit in this guy. Fantastic. And now we'll land on Vim Apuravat. Excellent. And then we'll need to land on Krikti. Which we'll do as soon as this month tick is done. I... Okay, that did go. Fantastic. So let's grab, I think, energy weapon, attack speed, and... There we go. Excellent. We're going to be running out of exotic gases in 12 months. We're currently losing 200 per month. I guess we'll buy in some exotic gases. Something like this. That's going to be quite expensive. Come on, Munstick. There we go. Well, that'll, uh, that'll hold it off for sure. But that's, I'm guessing that's going to put us negative. I'm not 100% sure on that. Negative on energy credits, I mean. It's not the end of the world, if we are. Okay, we've successfully invaded over here. We can invade new routes next. Fantastic. Hang on a moment. This is fully occupied by us? It is. I'm a moron. Okay. We're going to go ahead and take these guys over to Talandra. Nope. We're going to misclick and then take them to Talandra. <laughs> Excellent. Once they arrive in Talandra, they're going to land on Bloom. And I think we'll grab army damage. Research Fantastic. So that's strike craft damage. We'll go minerals from jobs next. We are at 95% war exhaustion. 2477 reasons to not achieve this war goal. Okay. We're going to keep going as far as we can. It'll be, I believe, a two-year timer. So we're going to be able to get a little bit more. I don't necessarily think we're going to be able to get everything. But it's going to be close. Okay. So we have successfully attacked here. Next, Prekekek. Fantastic. Now, what is the strength of this army over here? 1k. Okay, we're just going to use that to reinforce a weaker army. So let's see, 10,000, this one here is the one that we need to have it come to. So they can actually just jump drive directly to Talandra. Like so. And then they'll just join up over here. Like so. And hopefully they'll be there in time. Okay, we will grab energy credits from jobs. We're actually doing fine on energy credits, so that's good to see. We're up to 96% war exhaustion right now. Rocket 
And we had some governors leveling up. That's fine as well. Okay, army damage. We'll grab army health next. These guys have landed on Bloom. So we're just going to merge these together. And where to next? I think Everim. We'll see if they can jump drive after they merge in. Which they should be doing momentarily. They've overshot. Excellent. Okay. Are you guys allowed to jump drive? No. That's fine. It'll take you roughly the same amount of time to make your way over here. So go ahead and land there. Excellent. And as far as this goes, we have successfully fully taken over this system. So next up, we are going to jump drive our way over, I think, to here. And once we're inside of here, we will land on Shumi. Fantastic. We're on a clock, though. There's no doubt about that. We're going to get the vast majority of the systems. We're currently at 239 out of 256. So we're definitely getting super duper close. Less than 20 to go. In fact, there's 17 to go. So we're just waiting on a few more armies to finish up, and then of course we do have that, I believe, two-year pad time once we hit 100%. However, the moment they can enforce peace, I have to assume they're going to, and this peace deal is going to take a very, very long time to process. Like, to the point where I might as well, once that starts happening, put a cut in and come back next episode. So that's probably the plan. This battle is still ongoing. Yeah, we've got it pretty well under control, looks like. In theory, anyway. Excellent. And I think this is where we're losing most of our war score right now. It's getting through these Synthoid Link drone grids. They're, they are tough. There's, there's no doubt about that. 1174, 1174, and 1174. Okay, so these aren't too stacked up. Actually, we fully occupy this. What am I talking about? I believe this is the final Synthoid Link location. Okay. We have reached 100% war exhaustion. We can be forced to make peace 24 months after reaching high war exhaustion. Okay, so we are on that two-year timer now. We're going to jump drive over this way. Hang on, this is ours. We're not going to jump drive there at all. We are going to jump drive a different way entirely and go up over here and start hitting these worlds. So don't jump drive over there, please. I want you to jump drive instead over here and hit Hespia. Excellent. So those two years either will fully occupy everything or the two years will be over by the end of this episode. That's what I'm committing to. And then after that, next episode is going to be kind of the wrapping up episode, assuming we get everything that we want in this war. We're up to 240 systems, only 16 to go. And we should probably... We, we don't have any additional armies over there? Okay, this is what we've got to work with. That's fine. So this is three of the 16 systems right here. There's a few more up over in this region. There's a lot of worlds that we need to attack in Everim. We are slowly making our way over this way. We should make our way through this pretty quickly, actually. They are offering us peace. It's a status quo. We are declining that. 
We have 691 more days. Like, this is completely fine. I'm not concerned in the slightest. We'll take whatever else we can get. They were offering us 239 systems, but now it's 240. Okay. Well, we'll grab minerals from jobs. We continue to fall behind in that area. These guys are landing armies. That is perfect. They should land on Hespia quite soon. And not really have any issues with that. We only have two simultaneous invasions going on right now. I'm assuming our other armies are in motion. We've successfully invaded over here, and we are going to continue to land over this way. Excellent. Fantastic, that's another one down. We'll land over here next. So we now would get still 240 systems. They have 2,000 reasons to not accept this right now. And, of course, all of those are still unoccupied systems and planets. Pretty much in its entirety. Three simultaneous invasions going on. I feel like we should have one more... Where's our fourth army at? I don't see our fourth army. If only we had an outliner, <laughs> that would be useful. <laughs> but alas, we do not. We have 626 enemy days left here. Excellent, we can go attack on Chrysola. Enemy Fantastic. Hexalon next. Angry meteorites touching down. So far so good on this war. We just need a few more systems, but they have so many colonized worlds. Okay, that's army damage. We'll grab army health next. Excellent. Enemy Fantastic. We'll attack Zipper next. And we'll land there. That should bring us to 241 systems. And indeed it does. Enemy planet secure. Okay. Next up, we will attack Innovation over here. Rollout. There we go. Shield hit points, we will grab energy credits from jobs next. I'm starting to get very concerned about our mineral situation. So I think we should probably up our mineral buy to about 5,000. Like that. Which does mean that we are definitely going to need... To be donating less to our stockpile, which is actually fine. So let's bump this down to about 2k. I mean, after the month tick, anyway. There we go. So we'll bump this down to about 2k. We have a million resources in the stockpile, literally a million resources, so I don't think we need to be donating too much more to that. Okay, that'll do. That's minerals from jobs, and we are going to go for armor hit points. And that's this invasion, that's fine. How long do we have? 515 more days. Okay. I mean, we're definitely going to be getting the vast majority of Galactic Entente space. There's no doubt about that. 
241 systems right now out of 256. 15 to go. And we're still awaiting some battles to be finished up. We are, of course, invading currently three simultaneous. And again, I feel like we have an army around somewhere that isn't doing anything, because I'm pretty sure we had four. I mean, maybe we just combined them together. Whatever. I mean, it doesn't really matter too, too much. We can activate a relic. We're going to continue with the jump drive range, though. There we go. We've successfully taken over this world. Next up, we want to land here. That should be completely fine. They're down to 2,000 reasons. Not to accept a uh, full piece. And we are currently simultaneously invading three worlds. Research complete. They're continuing to claim our systems, which is brave. And I think we will go for minerals from jobs. Excellent. Well, we'll see how far we get in the next 400 days. This battle is ongoing. This battle, we're approaching mopping up point on. And this battle, that's going to take a while. That's a lot of fortresses. We're going to take some serious losses at this. Okay. That's going to be exciting. We've successfully invaded over here. And as soon as the month tick happens, we'll go attack Radix. Maybe. There we go. Excellent. 1660 should be completely fine. Currently down to 2019 reasons. I am slightly concerned about this combat. If I'm honest, I'm definitely slightly concerned about this. I mean, they are losing their forces pretty quickly. We should definitely grab army damage. Help us through that a little bit. 348 days until they can enforce peace. Which is kind of silly, if I'm honest. But we'll just finish up this particular invasion pretty quickly here. Hopefully, anyway. There we go. Now it's starting to tick again. Excellent. So, next up, we will attack New Turbac. 333, that is not a big deal. Excellent. Down. Yeah, I feel like we're definitely chipping through them faster than they're chipping through us, which is good. We need more energy credits from jobs, for sure. And more minerals from jobs would be ideal as well. Because these buy orders are uh, kind of tanking our economy a little bit. We can bump up our sales of food to about 12,000. There we go. And we can bump this up to 4,500. Okay. 
that'll help a little bit. I'm also going to bring this down to 4,000, and that will help dramatically. We successfully invaded over here, which means that we need to attack Omnius next. That will not be a problem. Fantastic. Ephraim is nearly under our control, which that's been a bit of a thorn in our side. Angry meteorites touching down. Okay. That shouldn't be an issue. This will be wrapping up momentarily. At least after the year tick. There we go. And we are slowly making our way through there. Okay. We'll grab army health next. And we need to attack over here. Actually, we have successfully attacked here. We need to move over to here and attack there. Excellent. Still 219 more days to go. I'm going to go a little longer in this video than I normally do because I want to wrap this war up. So that'll be fine. We would currently get 241 systems. Angry meteorites touching down. We successfully invaded over here, so that means that Everim is now complete. Is that everything in the Galactic North? I believe, except for over here. Okay, we need to attack over here for sure. So we'll come on over to Cedor, and once we arrive here, we will land on Sprout, which will not be a problem. They are offering us a status quo piece. I'm going to decline that. We've got another 179 days, six months. It's not long, and I think we're not going to quite get everything. But we're going to be awful close. So we'll have to see how this ends up shaking out. This may be two more episodes. I was planning for the next episode to be the final episode, but it may be two more since we can't quite get everything. I might play through the uh, truce off camera and then like we, we take over these guys, next, the little guys next episode, play through the truce off camera and then take over the remainder in the final episode. We could do it that way. We've only got another 117 days left here. I'm assuming they're going to force us into peace immediately. Okay, we're finally making our way through all this over here. We'll grab army damage next. We've secured over here, so we need to come over somewhere else. Looks like this entire region is now secure. Which is fantastic to see. Yeah, everything over here is good to go. So I think we need to jump drive up over this way and start working on some of these worlds. So to Bitrius then. Actually, we can't quite make it to Bitrius. We can go to Furud and then from there we can land over here. That'll do. We will currently be getting, be getting 243 systems. We need 13 more. The odds of us getting that in the next 89 days are almost nil. So I think it's going to have to be two more episodes. One final war against the Galactic Entente. But this is definitely going to be... Th this is going to completely break them. They're going to have so little left. Yep, we got that one taken care of, and did we get this one? We did not. Okay, so these guys need to jump drive over to Alpha Hydri. And they are going to land on Gulek. Okay, I'm hoping that we get Alpha Hydri out of this. Mm -hmm. 
65 days until they can enforce peace, but we don't really know if the AI is going to. I assume they're going to. Innovation rollout. Armor hit points is fine. We'll go for minerals from jobs. We can now turn down this buy order by another thousand. There we go. Excellent. Planetary invasion begun. So we have two invasions going on simultaneously right now. This invasion is still ongoing. That's taking a very long time. So we'll have to deal with that. And we've only got a couple days left here. Three days. I'm going to order them to come over here and attack, and we'll see when these guys enforce peace. When the game freezes for a million years... <laughs> oh. Is this just a month tick? I think this is just a month tick. Okay, we should grab admin cap. We're going to need it. So they can force peace at any time. So any time the game freezes at an unusual time, that is when we are assuming that they're forcing peace. Okay, we can head over here. And we can grab Krikti. Excellent. Okay, this is just a month tick here. Critical resource shortage of exotic gases? What? We're losing another 88 after buying 201? Okay, that's really weird. Why are we losing so many all of a sudden? I don't know, but I don't like it. Okay, we've chunked our way through those reserves. That's fantastic. This is now secured, so we will land on Pre-Pre. 3925, that's going to be a little closer than I would like. This is a month tick here. Come on, month tick. You can do it. Okay. There we go. Okay, this is, like, wildly fluctuating right now. We're losing another 146 exotic gases. Where is it all going? I don't actually know where it's all going. Like, from month to month, our, our number of exotic gases being used is skyrocketing. Sectors? No, they're not really doing anything. Interesting. Enemy planet well, we successfully invaded over here. Which means we can grab Gickle next, and that shouldn't be a problem. That'll get us Alpha Hydri. Maybe the AI can't enforce peace while invasions are ongoing? I don't know if that's the case or not. This episode has gone quite long, though. Angry meteorites touching down. And we still have so many places left to invade. Let's see... How long do I have before this episode goes live? I'm just trying to gauge between having the uh, ability to upload it before it goes live, and continuing to play out this war. I'm surprised they haven't forced peace yet. I thought for sure they would have by now. Well, 
will have Gickle in just a moment. There we go. Oh, there's still one in Alpha Hydri. What did we miss? Something over this way? Ah, something over here. We'll go land there. And then this is still ongoing over here. Oh. Hang on. This is the 30th. This isn't a month tick. This is them enforcing peace, I think. Okay, fair enough. Well, in that case, I'm going to put a cut in here because this is going to be a really, really long time to process. So I'm going to put the cut in here, and next episode, we're going to look at the aftermath, clean up some of the little guys, and then I'm going to play through the truce off camera. And we will finish it up in the episode after that. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>